We know now metals, they have the property of expanding and shrinking as they're exposed to hot and cold temperatures, so hot and cold foods over the years, but our teeth don't naturally expand and shrink with that material. So over time, that material, doing all that movement in your tooth will start to cause cracks. So we can see, first of all, separation between the metal and your tooth, and then we're seeing a lot of cracks form. I'm going to show you some different angle photos to see those cracks. So usually what we want to do is remove the offending material. So the offending material here is the metal, so we have to shave the chewing surface of your tooth. We also want to shave down the cracks they've caused, so those cracks don't propagate and go further and deeper down. Uh, so we're now shaving part of the lingual wall here. This is the cheek surface, the buccal wall. You can see the metal has gone down on to that surface of your tooth. Yep. So we need to shave that off and as well as this crack. So now we're shaving quite a few surfaces and actually there's a crack here as well, you can see. Yep. And I got another good angle. This tooth next to it has a crack here as well. So once we're shaving so many surfaces of a tooth, we really need to reinforce it with the strongest restorative option. And for you, that would be a crown because we are replacing so many surfaces. If we wanted to do an inlay, we would have had to shave fewer surfaces and less surface area. Okay, so we're going to do two crowns for you today.